let me just read to you very simply some of my ideas. Now these ideas hopefully are interesting because they deal with what you really are. Not what you appear to be, not the phenomenal you, but the noumenon, that which is within, the thing in itself, though you're not a thing at all. Okay, I'll just read to you. Making a short film about humanity, the Arabic for witches, etc., did this. Transfiguration is the means of becoming human. Before this theosis, as it's called, this deification, uh, there is only subhumanity. That's why the world is in a hell of a mess. Um, subhumans have maximised themselves. In the fiction, they are human and therefore and thereby complete. In A equals A, A is not equal to itself. Mortals are dying transients who become physically nullified. Death exposes what is underneath. It does not annihilate it. The idea that, oh, I am, as it were, only this sort of autonomous bag of flesh and its contents, uh, that's all, that therefore when this ceases to be, what is underneath dies is completely false. You can demonstrate or prove that underneath this meat there is a god with a female, a goddess. It's not gender bound because if you become deity in some sense then you go through various forms of human and divine polymorphy. You change not only your form but your mien your visage and your energy uh, uh, exhalation. You become something else. Now this first occurred on earth to, to ordinary mortals for want of a description. On Mount Tabor when Jesus of Nazareth took up John, Peter and Paul and before them there appeared Elijah and Moses. Now this is as it were is an in-betweener stage in between one world and in between the next. Um, this occurrence of meeting divinity is called deification. It cannot happen to mortals. Your immortalization must take place in Christ. If you become, as it were, if you, as it were, obtain his mind, the mind of Christ, through suffering and through, as it were, travelling to hell, then uh, you can find in this magnificent and most wonderful of all quests your true identity. You are either a son or daughter of the Lord God Almighty and that means that your destiny instead of being some kind of temple excrescence, some sort of um, thing that naturally is born, naturally suffers, naturally dies, whatever nature means in that sense, it means something like kinship to things. It means you're, you, you think you're one of these, uh, something thingy, thing, you have thingness. It's not the case. The soul within, i.e. the God, the psyche, yeah, it has many names and many descriptions in Hebrew, ruach, as it were, a breath, uh, in, in Arabic, ruach, similarly, etc. But what it really is, is an illuminated being of such immeasurable and immaculate splendour that only God, as it were, could fashion it in this degree. Hence, if you have someone who denies deity, either the supreme deity or that we are the gods, they are, as it were, putting to death the God in themselves. Atheism is a form of suicide, therefore it's a form of madness. The God that you're killing is really the one within which is where the kingdom of heaven is. This is what Christ told us. This is, this is what mankind fears, its rulers and the powers that be, its dominions, its kingships and or whatever. They fear that if men can become living gods and women too, uh, they as it were will rule. And let me tell you, indeed they do. They don't rule on earth because that's enemy occupied territory. We know the Lord Prince of Earth is it's Satan, the, the, the ultimate scumbag. 
uh, and all of his minions, his murderers, his torturers, etc, etc. Those that dispense death and horror onto others for their own preservation or for, the, for their own survival. So some people think of these as the fittest uh, of all humans. They survive, but this means to be a survivor you have to be a slaughterer, a genocidal maniac. And the truth of the matter is, is nothing survives. Everything that breathes becomes dead. So survival of the fittest is a self-contradiction. It means, it's like saying, the survival of the dead. It, the only way you can survive death is in God Almighty. There's no other means. Uh, you, doctors can't do it, psychologists, physicists, astronomers, cosmologists, and all these other um, qualified people. They know what they're talking about if they can't conquer death. Uh, the only one who can do that is God Almighty. Enough?